Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you how we can perform recording of JMeter scripts by using BlazeMeter plugin. So these are the steps that we need to perform. First, we need to install Chrome browser, then create BlazeMeter account, install BlazeMeter plugin for the Chrome, record a script, and then execute by using JMeter. I'm taking it as a prerequisite that you must have Chrome browser. First, we need to create BlazeMeter account. So BlazeMeter, we can understand is the application. It's a web-based application, which is providing us opportunity. We can create JMeter script by using that. We can upload these scripts onto the BlazeMeter. We can execute it over there. But as of now, we are not going for complete details. We are just going to use this plugin, BlazeMeter plugin for the recording of our JMeter scripts. So first of all, we should have BlazeMeter account. I'm moving to my browser. So I'm just searching for the BlazeMeter. That's the BlazeMeter. So here we need to create an account. I'm going to sign in. We can either create an account or we can sign in with the Google. So I'm using my Gmail ID for this process. So we can log in by existing Gmail account or we can sign up over there. So I'm just following. I'm using my existing Gmail ID. So I'm just giving username and password. So I have created account on the Blage Meter by using my Gmail ID. So I'm just skipping it. And that's my home page for the Blage Meter. So I have gone through the step two. First, we have to go for Chrome browser. We need to install the Chrome browser. I already have that. Then create a Blage Meter account. So I have already created it. Now we need to install Blage Meter plugin on the Chrome. So I'm going to the Chrome. Google install Blage Meter plugin. So it's a page meter that's a plugin. So I'm going over here and this is add to Chrome. So it's going to add an extension on my Chrome browser. So it will take some time. Once it is done, we are getting this icon here on the browser. So means my plugin or I'll say extension is installed successfully. Hello friends. We are offering our 25 plus video courses with lifetime access in dollar 200. If you are in India, you can pay rupees 10,000 for 25 courses. These courses include SOAP UI for web service testing, REST API testing by using Java, REST API testing using SOAP UI and then REST API testing using Postman and also REST API testing using Python. We also have courses for Selenium. So Selenium with Python, Selenium with Java, Selenium with Ruby. We are also having courses for database testing using SQL, SQL and Unix for tester, functional testing using QTP, which is UFT now, performance testing using Loadrunner and JMeter, Road to Big Data Testing, so BDD Understanding with Cucumber, MySQL Database. We also have courses for the scripting, so you can go for Python scripting for tester, Ruby scripting for tester, also some test management tool like we can use Jira, ALM for purchasing our video courses with lifetime access at the discounted price. You can call us 8743-913121. You can WhatsApp us on the same number as well. You can mail us testing word India at the gmail. Now, step three is done. We can move to recording a script. I'm moving to the browser again. Right. So here, my website is the testingword.com. That's my application on which I want to perform recording. So in the meantime, I'm logging out from my Blazemeter account and 
right so here my web application is opened and i want to record the functionality of this application so i'm just starting the blaze meter plugin here on the blaze meter plugin that's my record button so we can press this record button and we can start performing the actions that we want so i'm performing the action like i'm going to the tutorials jmeter and once that page is open we'll go to the another links yeah so that page is open i'm going to the timers in jmeter i'm going to elements in jmeter so whatever the steps you want to perform you can perform it over here and once you have completed your recording we need to go to the plugin again and just stop it so i have just stopped it as of now you can see this jmx option is disabled so first i'm changing the name of the script so i'm changing like testing word underscore scenario so whatever the name you want to give and because as of now we cannot download this recording to download this recording we have to sign up to the blaze meter or log into the blaze meter we have already signed up to the blaze meter i'm just going to log in by using my credentials so i'm going over here sign in with the google and if you want to create a new account you can uh, you know create a new account by using sign up and once you have logged in to the blaze meter then if you go over there again in the blaze meter you will find out that option is enable now means now we can download our recorded script which we have recorded by using blaze meter so i'm just going to click on this it is asking domain should be included in your script i was using this the testingword.com and just submit so here you will notice my script is downloaded here on the testing word dot jml i'm going to show you so that's my script so we have gone through step number four in which we have recorded a script by using blaze meter plugin now we need to open the script in jmeter and we can execute it so i'm moving to the jmeter again i'm starting jmeter that's my jmeter started i'm going to open and the script is downloaded in the download section so that's my script open and here we see what are the steps we have recorded displayed over here so this this script is ready to be executed but before execution i want to add one we result pre listener so now everything is done and if you want to make more listeners if you want to make any assertions we can do it over here if you want to execute this i'm just executing for num one number of user ramp up time is one loop count we can make changes over here but as of now i'm just executing it for one user so we can just check everything is working fine or not i'm just running it and here here we see it is start execution and one request already gone to the server we are getting response over here that's the second request so in the same way it will send all the requests which are recorded over here and we are going to get the response from there so that's the recording which we have done by using blaze meter plugin and that recorded script we are running into the jmeter so that's all we have for this session here we have seen how we can record our script by using blaze meter plugin so these are the step install chrome browser which i'm taking as a prerequisite and then blaze meter account we should have install blaze meter plugin on the chrome even uh, this plugin is available for the firefox as well so we can install it on the firefox record a script by using the plugin and then we can open a script into the jmeter and then execute it that's a complete process 
So that's all we have. Thanks for watching this video. Hello all. Hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please ask in the comment section. And also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses. Also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200. Find us on Facebook for more offers and updates. Here is the URL facebook.com testing word India.